God created this world and gave man a choice. The Lord said, Choose he this day whom you shall serve. That means it is not all up to God and not also all up to you. You and God must collaborate. You must agree with God. Even a prophecy, a good plan of God may not come to pass when there is disobedience. The book of Ezekiel, Lucifer was used as an example. God says, I created you as a symbol of beauty. That means God had a good purpose. Oh, you mighty cherub that cover it. I made you to walk on my holy mountain. Look at the good plan of God. You may start well, but you end bad. God has sent me today to talk to you who is serious. Who is serious minded. Collaborate with God. Collaborate with God. If you don't collaborate with God, the devil will take advantage to hinder your life, to stop you. But he cannot stop God. You know, victory belongs to Jesus. God created Lucifer. He said, I made you to walk on my holy mountain. Look at the good relationship. How did it end? Think about it. It didn't end well. Something began in perfectness. You were a symbol of perfection. I gave you powers. Anointed you. But due to your excess moves, you were corrupted. Sin was found in you. And now I reject you. I cast you away as a profane thing. That means you must what? Collaborate. If you don't agree, you and God will be like this. Each person must make a decision from his heart as for me and my household. That is my prayer for my own household. You should make a decision, a good decision to produce good results. If you make a bad decision, bad results will come forth. So the decisions you make will determine the results you get. Ask God to assist you in decision making. Lord, help me to decide as you would have decided. Not my decision, not my will, not my motive, not my feelings. But Lord, how do you feel? Let me feel like you. You must agree with God. To agree with God is to agree with his word. And in his word, we have him expressed. So we can believe in his word as we are believing in him. The book of John chapter 17 verse 6 to 8 tells us that. By believing in God's word, we are believing in him. Because in his word, he is expressed. Like the book of Peter. God is love. He who abides in love. Abides in God. You have to collaborate. To seal up your breakthrough. Say I have decided to collaborate with Jesus. To seal up my breakthrough. Let my breakthrough be permanent.